Hey yo, welcome back, you absolutely stunning individuals, to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. So, today, 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 we are going to be looking at the best builds that you can currently achieve with Lucia, with her bold eagle as her main weapon. And of course, it is based on max start weapons that are currently available. So, let's get it. Right behind me is a bald eagle. Bald eagle perched on a solitary tree flies away. As you can see from the intro, the bald eagle is the main weapon for each of these builds. So, they are primarily physical builds because the bold eagle has a lot of physical attack then most of the builds use the mad minute as a secondary weapon and one of the builds uses the black rifle as its secondary weapon so let's jump in and check them out for build numero uno we have Bold Eagle and Mad Minute as main and secondary. Sub weapons are Red's Rubber Collar, then Sephiroth's Clear Reed, and lastly, Cloud's Butterfly Edge. Then for build number two, again, it's the Bold Eagle and Mad Minute as primary and secondary. Then for sub weapons, it's Matt's Killer Hornet, it's Barrett's Enemy Launcher, and again, Cloud's Butterfly Edge. For build number three, same setup for main and secondary, but the sub weapons this time are Sephiroth's Edged Wings, Cloud's Enhanced Sword, and Aerith's Silver Staff. Last build, number 4, uses the Bold Eagle as a main weapon, but this time it's the Black Rifle as secondary. Then it's Tifa's Tiger Fangs, Sephiroth's Edged Wings again, and Zack's Top 99 Longsword as sub weapons. So yeah, build one I like to call the Limit Breaker because of its featured R ability in red, which is boost limit break potency 60. That gives you 85% limit break damage. The raw stats of the weapons are 1,544 physical attack, 1,309 magic attack. This build also has boost physical attack level 7, which gives you that juicy 100 extra physical attack plus the 50% boost. This build also has level 5 ice potency, level 5 boost HP and level 3 of boost physical ability damage and if you are wearing the story mode costume you will get boost physical defense level 3. In general these builds don't take into account armor it's just this one with the story takes the physical defense up to level 3. Build number two is the potent physical build. That is because the featured R ability is boost physical ability potency 66, which gives you level seven. And what that does is it powers up all of your physical abilities in the fight. If you are using a physical ability, you are in attack stance and 
your attack stance is maxed out, your physical abilities will be doing a whopping 80% extra damage, which is pretty sweet. It also has the maxed out boost physical attack. It has boost ice potency, level 5, boost HP, level 5, and level 2s of both boost limit break potency and boost attack. But what is interesting is that the boost HP is two points off becoming level six. So if we get a weapon in the future that provides a bit more boost HP than the ones in this build, we could reach level six boost HP. And the same thing can be said for boost limit break and attack, which are three and two points off their next levels as well. So that is something to consider. Now we have build three, which is the ice build. For obvious reasons, the R ability gives you boost ice potency 90, which is 110% ice ability damage. And that's gonna help you put your enemies into a new ice age. Sadly, it does not reach level 10, but with the support ability, 30% ice damage, it's still a really good ice build. The boost physical attack is pretty sad. It is still very high, but it is one point off max. So that's really annoying. And hopefully a weapon will come out in the future that gives us that one extra point that we need. And the same thing can be said about the boost physical ability potency. Anyway, enough of that. This build also has boost attack level five. So it's quite a hybrid build, even though the main DPS will still be physical DPS. It also has boost HP level three and boost magic attack level three. So kind of a weird one, not gonna lie. The hybrid vibes, even though it's still physical, but it can be a good support DPS for an ice build. Last but not least, the critical strike build. That is because of the featured R ability, which is boost crit potency, level seven, making it so that when you land a critical hit, you are gonna be smashing fools with an extra 120% crit damage. For this build, hopefully we get a weapon in the future that provides one extra ice potency and two extra magic attack over and above what the weapons in this build provide because that will take us up a level of each of those but for now we are looking at level six ice potency level four magic attack and a level two attack boost oh and before i forget the raw stats are 1,594 physical attack and 1,335 magic attack. An overall summary of the builds is that the second build has the highest physical attack stat and the third build has the highest magic attack stat. But in general, all of the builds are physical builds because they are built around Bold Eagle, which provides a big physical attack boost. Build 1 gives you 85% limit break damage. Build 2 gives you 80% physical ability damage. Build 3 is the 110% ice damage. Rounding it up with build 4 with the 120% crit damage. All of the builds also have that epic level 7 boost physical attack except for build 3 
which is sadly one point off. Hopefully we can get a better boost physical attack weapon for that in the future. On a side note, if you have that incredibly cool black stealth outfit, you will have boost physical attack level 7 on all builds. Build 1 and 2 give average ice damage and a nice little HP boost. Whereas build 3 is more of a hybrid, gives you that physical and magical attack boost. And build 4 also gives you a decent amount of ice and gives you the crit damage as mentioned. Personally, I prefer build 2 and I also like build 4. But build 3 is also good, especially because the bald eagle gives you that 30% ice damage boost. You do you. Go for one of these bolts if you like. If you have alternative bolts, maybe not based around bold eagle or whatever, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again so much for watching. See ya.